Hello friends, this is Raj Sassi from Raj Option Trading. Today is April 15, 2022. Let's take a look at top technology stocks. We'll start with a market update. Look at stocks with a volume, more than 1 million shares. Positive net margin, these are profitable companies. And also free cash flow positive. So that way these are really uh, turning in the free cash flow. So it's always good to look at the free cash flow positive companies. So with that, let's jump in. From a market update perspective, look, we are in the fear zone right now. We are at 42. I can see us going to around 25 or so. We were there around 19 a month ago. So I can see us going into extreme fear with all the uncertainties, geopolitical tension and uh, inflation hikes. So we can uh, really go into extreme fear zone in the uh, upcoming weeks and months. So with that, we got to be careful. Market is turbulent. We got to go after solid stocks and accumulate slowly. That's the key here. We should not buy a lot of stocks at one time because of this volatile market. Slowly buy solid companies. You know, buy five, two, three. Uh, you know, so that way you can accumulate slowly and go from there. So with that, let's jump in here. Look, S&P 500, NASDAQ, they fall uh, on Thursday, then notch a weekly loss. Um, you know, that's, that's the trend here. A week, it goes higher nicely, and uh, next week, it goes down. Even on a daily basis, you see a lot of volatility. And bank earnings suggest uh, it's going to be a roller coaster year. I think that's a very good prediction here. We already had a roller coaster year so far. That will continue. And China's lockdowns are greater threat to inflation. Um, and uh, with all these lockdowns, the, the raw material and the goods cost can go higher. And from a market update perspective, we've got a one-day chart here. Look, in a one-day chart, Dow Jones Industrial Average down, NASDAQ down big time, S&P 500 also down, all the major averages down in one-day chart, nice and high down. So it's it's really roller coaster here. So we got to be buying these great stocks as the market dips down by triple digits. It's always a very good uh, way to buy stocks slowly when the markets are down big time you can buy it on sale all right now let's jump in and look at the major indices from a major indices perspective i got a one day chart here i mean one year chart one year one day chart look we got dow jones industrial average what do you see you see up down market going up coming down going up coming down that's what is going on here on an average as you see here it's uh, generally trending higher but off late look at the steep loss here lower lows so you got to be careful here market will continue this uh, trajectory so that's when market is down big time you know buy some favorite stocks even uh, good etfs and similar pattern in um, s p 500 look it's up down down big time went up came down it's now it's coming down i can see us you know maybe touching uh, this uh, level right here around 4300 it's in the cards we got to be careful here even dow jones as you see here there's a nice level here around uh, you know 3300 or so we can touch this this level and retest uh, previous uh, uh, support level here and nasdaq is a little more uh, weaker as you see here uh, we are already at this level support level if it breaks we can go into a little bit lower level say around uh, you know around 30 uh, you know 13,500 500 or even a little lower than that so that's why you got to be careful here it's a really volatile market you know buy some great stocks even this etfs like qqq is also okay on triple digit down days and then you got russell here look russell is in tight compression pattern here so it can also do a leg down here and touch the lows around 1900 and then you got gold gold is cruising nicely look gold is doing very well when there is an uncertain time gold goes higher that's what's going on here on the down days when the gold is down you could buy some good gold stock it's always a good hedge and then you got crude oil crude oil is uh, you know going nicely as you see here as if there is no tomorrow with all the geopolitical tension russian russian oil not too much into the major markets that's why oil is going higher natural gas is going higher um, i would say on the down days you could buy some oil i think it will continue to go higher on uh, you know for a couple more uh, maybe months to come 
and look uh, bonds are selling off big time here um, government is not buying the bonds anymore they're not uh, buying market backed securities they're selling it that's why demand for bonds or 30 year bonds are going down as you see here that makes the interest rates go higher that's what is going on interest rates are going higher this is causing all these uh, you know big high growth names to come down and also we should avoid stocks with the high uh, debt load on their balance sheet because they will end up paying them more interest unless they lock in a higher um, higher uh, uh, time period for their loans. That's why you got to be careful on these high debtors. It's not good to go after these high debtors and uh, high valuation type stocks. So with that, let's jump in here. Look, we got an ETF here. From an ETF perspective, S&P 500 is at the top here. Uh, a lot of volume. It's the uh, it's the most volume uh, ETF here. Look, it's not even in the correction territory yet. It's just eight percent down from 52-week high. I would wait for this to come down to 10 percent, and then slowly start buying some some of my favorite names. And also, I would uh, buy F SPY as it comes down below 10 percent. And then I got QQQ, one of my favorite ETF. Off late, I'd been, uh, you know, buying QQQ when it's down and also when sell some put options on the QQQ, given there is a very high volatility, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's yielding very good. These put options give very good premium. When you sell it, when there is a high IV percentile, you can make some good money. You can even make a good living. And we've got a few more here, financials. All these banks are really not doing great. Uh, that's why banks are down here. Financials are down. You know, I'm also buying some of these financials as they're down. You know, they always come back. It's uh, it's good to buy when they're down like this, when there's a lot of negative sentiment. You know, buy some XLF, buy some uh, JP Morgan, Bank of America, Wells Fargo. They will all, they will all do very well. And then we've got a few more here. Gold, uh, silver is doing very well, as you can see here. Um, it's, it's good to buy silver when it's down right now. Uh, RSI is high. I would not buy silver at this time. I would wait for a pullback. And as you see here, we got uh, our Kathy Wood here. Um, she's uh, not doing great this year, as you see here. Uh, she's down 55% from 52-week high. So I think uh, it's really talks about this high growth, high multiple names, which uh, did very well back in 2020, but they're uh, now out of style. And on the other hand, we got here um, uh, gold. Gold is doing well. It's a nice defensive sector. Look, it's uh, doing nice. It's, it has a high RSI right now, 59. I would wait for a little pullback to buy. And then you got China here. Look, China, we got KWeb, which is a China ETF here. And that's also not doing great. Look, it's down 64% from 50 to week high. If you want to buy, you got to go after some good stocks like Alibaba and a few more like JD on the bad days and slowly buy them. But Chinese stocks, you got to be very, very, very careful. Look, United, United States natural gas is uh, going higher like no tomorrow. Um, you know, at this time, it's uh, too hot. Look, it's 85. You know, I had some stocks that I bought a while ago, like Chenier Energy, as an example, um, and a few others which are really going higher. I'm just uh, holding them because that's a very good uh, position to hold. Uh, when the market is tanking, UNG is going higher. It's, uh, it's a good position to be in. All right, now let's jump in and look at the top technology stocks. From a top technology stock perspective, what I've done is I've looked at stocks which are fallen off the cliff uh, in in a, in a five-day time frame. The stock at the top has fallen down the most in the last five days. That's the Indian stock Infosys, as you can see here. And then I also made sure the net margin is more than 10%. These are all profitable companies, and they make a lot of money at the end of the day. And look, you know, all these companies have got nice cash on their balance sheet. Uh, these are strong companies, and also free cash flow is more than 500. Um, it's a free cash flow positive companies. So it's also good to know, uh, good to buy free cash flow positive companies. And most of these names have got nice and high overall score, double digits. That's why these are uh, not those companies that will go bankrupt. These are rock solid companies. And for the folks who want to look at stocks with a less a debt, 
debt you know avoid the high debtors i say you know if, a de if there is a debt which is more than more than two percent you can avoid them uh, like n phase energy right now you know they got high debt load here uh, you know this one is slightly okay but still it's a good to avoid such names because um, you know these stocks will get hammered as you go forward and then we got here seagate look seagate also has a high debt load here i would avoid such names as of now and then you got hpq here hpq looks like they got uh, their current ratio is a little bit low here i want to i want with stocks with a little bit higher current ratio that tells you they can easily meet financial obligations so with that we got few names here look we got infosys at the top indian stock it's been doing great in a two year and five year time frame look 152 percent in two year 228 in five years even one year it's done nicely 13 percent of late it's a uh, down after the earnings announcement stock came tumbling down i would be a buyer of uh, this indian stock here infosys and accumulate this will do very well and bounce back nicely um, and then we got here nvidia one of my favorite stock jetson wong is the ceo and uh, founder look the problem with this one is really a little bit high valuation look at the valuation 20 wall street does not have patience for high valuation names on the contrary i love this one because they got very nice net margin 36 percent i'd been buying nvidia on the down days and accumulating uh, that typically always proves out to be good can there be a couple more down days yes but overall nvidia is a industry leader this is going to be the next trillion dollar semiconductor stock it's almost 619 billion dollars it's a good one to buy and accumulate on the down days don't look at the news too much stocks like nvidia will do very well they say company is really innovating really nicely and then you got a few more here coinbase is a play on the crypto um you know if you're really upbeat on the crypto you could buy coinbase on the down days look right now rsi 35 the strategy i use is i buy you know when the market is down like this you know buy one or two stocks and accumulate that way because you don't know the the downturn might last a couple more months that's why you could buy in uh, stages and accumulate slowly make sure you're going after the nice companies with good net margin that's the only way to survive in this market if you go and chase energy stocks and natural gas right now you'll be burnt soon instead you should go after the nice uh, beaten down stocks with a nice positive net margin and good cash flow that those stocks will bounce back pretty hard and then you got a few more here amds one of my favorite stock here look amds pullbacks very 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 hard here it's at 93 it's very hard to believe amd below 100 at these levels you could slowly and uh, safely start buying amd here it's also a good one legendary leader lisa su and look amd has got nice uh, cash they got three billion dollar cash in the balance sheet and nice 3.2 billion dollar free cash flow you don't need to worry about any uh, financial issue with this company and also innovation is humming it's a good one to buy shopify on the other hand it's a good company uh, they also announced the stock split as many of you know here but market is not patient on this uh, stock uh, mainly because it's got a little bit higher um, you know multiple here from a price to sales ratio perspective i would wait on these type of names here let them prove uh, that they can go higher and then you can start buying at this time i would wait on this one and then we got synopsis one of my favorite rock solid stock here also little high valuation but this is a good one uh, i've been buying slowly synops synopsis here uh, look they got a nice 1.2 billion dollar cash on the balance sheet and 1.3 billion dollar free cash flow and nice uh, overall score of 99 and we got a few more here i love uh, lamb research and kale tancor apply same methodology buy them slowly on these down days they will do great look kale tancor has got nice uh, 83 overall score it's a great one to buy here cadence is also one of my favorite here look nice overall score of 95 and these guys have got some good cash one billion dollar in the balance sheet and one billion dollar free cash flow and list goes on i will not talk through all of those you know, keep a watch on the free cash flow here we got companies with nice and high free cash flow and we got uh, mr softy here microsoft look at the cash and the balance sheet 
125 billion dollars you could uh, safely buy this company also given look rsi is 38 tells it's completely sold off here and we got a few more here um, and uh, look we got one more here cisco cisco has got nice cash on the balance sheet 21 billion dollar uh, stock has been down here look rsi is 30 completely sold off here it also pays a good dividend you could also buy some cisco here and go from there and we got Accenture also. Look, Accenture has got nice uh, six billion dollar cash on the balance sheet. I mean, five point four billion dollar. You could go after this one also. All right, let's uh, look at a few more here. List continues. Uh, it's basically sorted by five day um, return here or a five day performance. These have gone down in the last five days. Good time to slowly buy and keep watching the cash on the balance sheet and free cash flow here. The first one is one of my favorite. It's uh, Broadcom. Broadcom is a good one here. Look at ten billion dollar cash on the balance sheet. Thirteen billion dollar free cash flow. You could uh, safely buy this one as it goes down. Good one here. Look at Apple. Apple is also one of my favorite one here right now stock is sold off here it's one of the stronger candidate apple kind of goes uh, along with along with the s p 500 and qqq and even uh, dow jones for that matter it's a heavy weighting as many of you know here they've been reducing their debt load on the balance sheet that's always a good one here look at the cash on the balance sheet 101 billion dollars and nice overall score i mean cash is 63 billion dollars free cash flow is 101 billion dollars this is also great one to buy here and then i got intel intel i think it's a turnaround story um, i'm accumulating intel very slowly here they got uh, new not so new anymore pat gilsinger is the ceo they're going to build these chip plants you know in ohio and they're going to tackle the semiconductor shortage i think it's a good one to buy here turnaround story and we've got a few more here with the nice cash position. We've got Oracle. Uh, it's a company, Larry Ellison's company. Look, they got $23 billion cash on the balance sheet. And look, stock is sold off with the RSI 45. You could safely buy some Oracle. They will also do very well. And we've got a few more here. Look, we got uh, Taiwan Semi. Ta Taiwan Semi has got nice uh, $41 billion on the market on the balance sheet here. You could also buy this one safely. They will do well. I love Texas Instruments. Also a great one to buy. Look, they got about uh, $9 billion on the balance sheet. It's a good one to buy. So with that, thank you very much. Happy investing and trading. Please subscribe.